Hey guys, Jeff here with MissionMusician.com uh, and MixPractice.com and so I've been getting a lot of requests to show my studio. Um, it's nothing special, nothing fancy. Um, not sure that this is even going to turn out that good uh, with the poor lighting in here. Let me see here. And I haven't used a camcorder in years. I had to dig this one up to find it. Uh, okay, so here's my control room. Um, have a couple couches here. Uh, the vocal booth is over here. I'll show you that in a minute. Have some treatment up. Have a sound diffuser here um, that I built myself out of two by fours. Um, initially this room was set up a little bit differently um, the actual desk was sitting right here and facing this window this window goes into my drum room I'm not going to show that today because it's Christmas and it's well it's Christmas time and it's filled with <laughs> a bunch of uh, boxes for ornaments and Christmas tree and all that but this is um, a half inch tempered glass on both sides with about 12 inches between them, maybe even closer to 18. Um, so the drum room is completely um, soundproof of this room. Um, however, having said all that, I'll just say that uh, I never use it anymore um, since becoming a trustee at my church. I have access to my church uh, at all times and it's a much, much better recording environment for drums. So generally when I do record a band, I will have them go uh, meet me at my church and we'll do the drums there and then come back here and do the rest of it. So super basic setup, okay? Uh, I have a fader port here. I'll just run over what I have really quick. I have a fader port here, which I'm actually considering upgrading to the fader port 8. However, I may still even get the Slate Raven uh, control surface. I'm not sure yet. Um, at the core of this studio here is a Focusrite um, Pro 40. Now, I do have a liquid Sapphire 56 that I keep up at my church um, specifically for recording drums. And I also have a Studio Live uh, 16, it's the 16 channel one, board that I can also use as an interface. I have a, a Mackie big knob here um, to flip between different speakers. My speakers are KRK Rockets. Uh, the six inch. I've gone through multiple speakers over the years. Um, and to be dead honest with you, um, these barely get used anymore because I'm mixing more in headphones as I do tutorial videos and all of that. Um, I have my HD 650s there. Um, you know, it, it's very, very basic, guys. Uh, super basic. That's kind of why I hesitate even shooting this video. Uh, because it is so basic but it does what I need it to do now I used to have another monitor that hung on this wall here back here um, where I split the screens between the mix and the edit window on Pro Tools uh, that monitor shot craps so uh, I'm down to just one now um, over here these are extra large bass traps that were designed for me I built them myself but they were designed for me um, by uh man i can't even remember his name but he is a studio designer um and it was done years ago i built this back in i don't know i want to say 2008 2009 somewhere in there over here i have just a little kind of cart here that i set my kemper on it's currently up at church that's why these little spdf cables are kind of hanging off here i just plug my kemper right into that uh let's see all right, I am going to stop the, or can I pause? I don't even know what I can do here. I haven't used the camcorder in a while. Uh, so I can go into uh, my vocal booth. All right, so here's the vocal booth. Um, 
it's just a very small room. You can look in here, we can see uh, the studio. Put this curtain up to give the singer privacy if he needs it. Some singers are very self-conscious. Got my little Zen table over there. Try to calm the singer down. Um, keep him in a relaxed state. Um, and yeah, man, that's pretty much it. Again, I'm not going to show the drum room today because it's a mess. And I really honestly don't even use it anymore. So... That's it in a nutshell, man. That's my studio. Uh, hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later.